let's talk about the Sandman, which I know I know you're not really f- familiar with Sandman, um, but it this is superhero related, it's comic book related. Uh, Sandman, uh, as I, th- I was telling you before we got on uh, the show, you know it's a Neil Gaiman, one of the one of the greatest writers and comic writers of of the last you know 30, 40 years, fantasy writer. Um, just all around uh, creative dude. I've I've read much, uh, you know, not all of his stuff. I've read a bunch of stuff by him. You've read some stuff by him that I mentioned before. Um, and he wrote this comic. Uh, he was just, you know, kind of breaking into comics back in the early '80s. He wrote a comic called um, Sandman, which was something of a reimagining of the Sandman superhero. You know, he had like a little sleep gun, and he was sort of like this pulp detective, whatever. But in this way, instead of Sandman being that, he's actually the Lord of Dreams, and it's all it's a very it's a it's a very big big idea existentialist surrealist uh, kind of exploration of morals and philosophy and all this other stuff in comic book form, and you and their DC superheroes show up in it, you know, uh, the you know Lucifer is in there. Lucifer, the TV show, is is something of a spinoff. Uh, the, it's a, the comic, it's a comic that spun off of Sandman that they eventually turned into a TV show. So mm-hmm. Sandman's kind of a big deal. Let me just say it's kind of a big deal in, in, in terms of comic books. And so, um, I think last year they Netflix won the bidding, uh, to produce a Sandman, uh, a Sandman TV show, uh, for Netflix. And, and so the, and they're putting real they're putting good money into it and all that that stuff they're, they're all the care and uh, you know this is going to be one of the more high profile Netflix productions and I would say put it on the same level as like an Umbrella Academy um, in terms of like what you can expect from the uh, or not maybe more than probably more than Umbrella Academy to be honest so with that said why are you talking about this Mo? Um, <laughs> I'm mentioning it because they they last week they they uh, revealed the cast of of the show, all the major players who we can expect to see, and this this is you know part of I I would consider an ongoing discussion between you and I about just how <laughs> just how freaking. Um, terrible nerd culture can be sometimes um so what when they were they released the the cast list the the you know racists came and 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 i I would say i won't say misogynist but like kind of racist misogynist you know whatever anti you know whatever the gender police came out of the woodwork and got all bent out of shape for two cast members, one of them uh, is uh, they cast the the character Death, who's the sister of the of uh, of the guy, the Sandman, um, as a, a a black woman was cast, and then um, the character Desire, uh, which was cast by I guess a non a non binary um, a non binary actor, so. That's so that the the bigotry came out of the woodwork. It's all this big to do about it uh, amongst which which is it's always interesting to me that they're just like that's not the way they are in the comics. So they got to be comic accurate accurate in the comics. They're white, so they got to be white. Or in the comics, they are a woman, so they have to be a woman. And I find that interesting that that's what they get stuck on. They, you think about that, they get stuck on that the race. And the gender identity, but not on, stuck on the fact that they're not a you know in in the Marvel universe, Age of Ultron is not a, not anywhere near like what it actually is in the comic. Like so, there's yeah. this big deal about they don't make a big deal out of that, but they make a big deal out of the fact that this character has to be white because in the comic they're white. Why don't you respect the original material and do it the way they they did it originally? Um. <laughs> And I'm sure you've yeah. seen stuff like this before. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
it, it's oh my god <laughs> it's, 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 it's let me say real quick this shit I'm, I'm not kidding i said to jen the other day i'm like this is the shit that really makes me be like oh that's why nerds get beat up you know, yeah. you know? or but or to really just be like oh, good god i you know y'all hate make me hate to identify with you motherfuckers because y'all are just hateful this shit is, it's it's hateful it's hatefulness it's just it's hate that's all it yeah. is I mean, it's ridiculous. What's I'm to, okay. I'm gonna let you talk though. Before I, before I, before I keep going on. <laughs> and I, you know, I don't blame you because it's true. It's like I don't understand why, like, they get so bent out of shape when things like this happen. Because listen, I'm all for. I don't mind when a character, like for example, you know, side characters or anything, they change their race or whatever. The only thing that I don't, I feel like, when it comes to uh, changing the race of a character, that I feel like they shouldn't do too much is that I feel like sometimes it will cause them not to create new characters. But at the same time, it just it it it, it it's just crazy how people will get so offended if there's a female character or this character doesn't look like how they do in the comics. They're like, Oh my God, they picked in the, uh, in the comic book. She's a, she's this short, skinny white girl. Why are they picking a muscular girl? No, this is not what it's supposed to be. Oh my God. Did, did you ever uh, hear people that bitch about Hugh Jackman, not being a short stub, you know, short, uh, stocky dude for Wolverine and then everyone thinks you, you see him as Wolverine and you, f- you shut the hell up and move on right or yeah. or what <clears throat> you know I love this is the, the argument I love to hear this and they always jump to this too the side, yeah, look let's just call it like it is I'm you know I, I don't feel like pulling any punches with these motherfuckers the racists in the in the yeah. culture and in, in nerd culture there's a there's just these these dudes they and or women too but there's there's these people that they they are so stuck on this shit that they in their mind if it's not exactly like the comic there's no way you so in their mind you can't race swap anybody or else you're you're you know, that's that's their justification they're really just being racist but whatever um, so they'll say some stupid shit like well what if we swap the black panther out for with the white man okay well let allow me to show how that's a dumbass argument and your logic is stupid well let me t- let me ask you this if you made black panther white would it make any It'll kind change. of sense would it, well i'm just saying would it make any sense it's literally about an african king a king of yeah. a country that was never conquered never enslaved had anybody enslaved why would he be white in what way yeah. do, that makes no it just it changes the character at a fundamental level now yeah. this character death the character death is a cosmic embodiment of something of, of it a can concept. be whatever it wants it could be a cat right this this would be the same thing as if you were in Marvel. If they if they're gonna do Galactus and they're like he's got to be a huge white dude with like a purple suit on. Well, what if he's not? Yeah, what if he's not? He does can, it does he that can literally anything be about Galactus? This yeah, it doesn't have to. Galactus can literally be like in the uh, other movie they had Galactus as a cloud, and I'm like, well, I mean, it was Galactus. It, yeah, it, the movie was awful, but it wasn't because Galactus was a fucking cloud. That was yeah, I mean, that wasn't the reason. Yeah, it's just like you could be whatever you want. It's like, for example, um, if they decide to make, for example, Iron Man, they can they can change the race of Iron Man. They can change the race of a lot of characters. Yep, and- There's only certain characters that you cannot change because, like you said, it will fundamentally change the whole entire. I, I would almost say you couldn't change Iron Man to be. I think maybe you could if you changed his geography you could change his race. I mean, but, technically, but if, but if he, Iron if, Man can be if, any race. Well, he could if, be, but if he yeah. were American, and I've I've ha- I've heard this argument made, and and I actually kind of like what it what it's saying, which is well, this was said about Batman, but Batman being white is sort of essential only in this context 
Because in order to be Batman, you have got to be the privileged the privileged son of the privilege of, yeah. of a generationally wealthy, not family. not generally not rich, but a general generationally wealthy family. So there ain't too many black people that have gen- multi generational wealth, and I'm not talking about we you know we rich. No, I'm talking about multi you know billions of dollars, but to the point that. You know, you, your your family has names, you know, has their name over buildings and shit like that all over the place. That makes sense. And so if you race swap Bruce Wayne, you're going to have to justify that shit to me pretty hard. But if you race swap Superman, uh, you could, Superman's not human. He could be any, he, if he could have been blue. So him, him looking like you know, average white American was a happy coincidence that, oh, or maybe it's not a coincidence because white people created him. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't that be true? So, but if he, if you race swap him, if you made him Asian, it wouldn't bother me because I'm like, he's not human. He doesn't have to look like us. The fact that he does look like us at all is a happy accident. You know, it's a happy accident of his biology. But he could have been any race. He could look like any race. And so this whole deal with making a big deal out of this black actress being death is so idiotic. You know how idiotic it is? It's so idiotic that you literally have people telling the creator of the story, Neil Gaiman. Are you? I'm not kidding you. On Twitter, people are fucking tweeting to him telling him that it's all this wokeness and forced diversity and shit like that it's 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 crazy like this is not what the author intended and the author himself is saying yes i do what are you talking about i'm the person that wrote this how you gonna tell me what i intend it's fucking stupid it's it's like for example my character in my video game that i'm making she is deaf she she a black female character Deaf, deaf can be whatever you want to be. I mean, it, it's, it's just, it's. I, I just find it just so aggravating that, you know, like you said, I embrace being a nerd, but it's just, it feels like, and it's just so, so more and more. Sometimes I, I talk to some of my friends that are not as, you know, as much of a nerd as me, and I say sometimes I have to sit back and realize something that there are a lot of like nerds. Like now, I can see why people didn't like. Like you said, I can see why some people didn't like nerds because they were usually racist, bigots, and just downright, you know, assholes. You know, right? And I was a nerd, and I got along in school a lot because I was myself. I was not trying to, you know what I mean? I just, I, I, I embraced my. I didn't. I embraced me being a nerd, but I wasn't like how a lot of these other people are, where they're like, "Oh, we want to see this character always be white, or we always want to see this character not be a chick, or if they're gonna put a chick in a comic book role, she has to be good looking, she has to be right. fine, she has to be this ideology of what we think of, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm creating my video game character. You know, if any right. of you guys want to follow me on Instagram. Ano Kinihun, uh, you'll see my character. She has a shaved head. She doesn't have long hair. She has a shaved head. She has scars on her face. She's muscular. She is what a warrior is supposed to be. Right. I'm going. My character is going to break every single female comic book size video game trope. Every single one of them. She's going to break it. Are you doing? <laughs> you're doing a checklist. Like, let's make sure. All right. Yep. Can't be having. She can't be wearing an unrealistic outfit that doesn't make any sense yeah. when you fight. Um, well, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's much my thing. Is like, th- just think of the. You know, I, I'm not gonna belabor this too much more, but like, think of the stupidity that's required to to be like, I want it to be just like the comics, and I'm like, okay, so you want it to be just like comics that were created, like in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, when it's pretty demonstrable that the societal at least by the people who are making it the societal attitudes towards minorities were pretty fucking terrible so we we want to make sure it's just like that right we want to re- we want to reflect 
the the so they call talk about forced diversity. I've said it before. They they want to talk about forced diversity. How about the forced non diversity that w- when all of these things were more or less brought to you know brought to life? There was when Superman was created, forced non diversity was the was the cultural rule. When Batman, when when Spider Man, you know, the fact that that you know these were created in a time where the ideal was to create to show as little diversity as possible and you want to fucking reflect that because that's what you grew up on why don't you go the hell up how let's try growing up period and realize we're not in that time anymore and these things have got to be like i said before recontextualized and kind of you know rejiggered to work in our current culture Mm -hmm. that the, the 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 characters work but they all, not every aspect of the characters work. Hell, Batman, how many fights have you heard? How many online fights have you had with, or heard people have talking about whether or not Batman kills people? Batman, as originally conceived, had a gun and shot people to death. Yeah. So yeah. don't give me this whole the original creator shit. If the original creator, Neil Gaiman, says this is the way it's going to be, you uh, if you go make your own damn Sandman shit. But the man, the man himself that made the defining run is working on the show and is part of the decision-making process. And he says, this is good. It's time for you to shut the fuck up. I'm just saying, shut, just shut the fuck up. Because I think he knows a little more than you do. Not not yeah. you, obviously, but you mm-hmm. racist nerds out there and, and bigoted nerds. Get the, you know what? Learn learn something about being an outcast for a change. Just because just because we've inherited the world doesn't mean we got to forget our, where we came from.